All right, so today I'm gonna walk you through how to create a new Apple ID on your iPhone. I just got this Apple, uh, this iPhone 16 here. Pretty good phone. Drop a link for it below if you're interested. But when I was setting it up, I skipped through the Apple part because I was going to create a new Apple ID. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that now. First, what we need to do is open up this settings. Inside of settings, we're gonna hit this Apple account up at the top. And again, we're gonna create a new Apple account. So if I had a, an existing one, I would use one of these options to sign in. But since we don't have an account, I'm going to cr click this button at the bottom. Don't have an Apple account. I am an adult, so I'm gonna choose the adult option here and we'll enter our name. First and last and birthday. Here we go. Now, here's where it gets tricky. We need to either select an email address that's not associated with an existing account. If it's associated with a different account, we need to go into the Apple ID account and actually delete that email so that we can create a new one using it. Does that make sense? So if I put in, let's say I'm gonna put in my work email, and if I try to hit continue, it's gonna say this email address is taken. That's because it's already affiliated or attached to another Apple ID account. So we either have to have a clean email or we can click this don't have an email address and get an iCloud email address right here. Uh, to do this, we're just going to type in what we want the email to be. Let's see, email address is taken. So let's do Trey Jacobs one. There you go. So it's going to create this email address and this is going to be the email address that's now tied to my Apple ID account. Now, I'm not gonna choose that. I don't want you guys to see what email address I choose. Again, if your email address that you already have, your Gmail, your work email, whatever it is, is already attached to an Apple ID account, go to that Apple ID account, remove your email address or delete the entire Apple ID account if you can, so that it is not attached to an email. You would put it here you would run through the steps. Um, once we have that, what you're gonna do is set your password, verify your phone number and agree to the terms. And that would be how you create your new Apple ID. So that's all we have today, guys. I hope this helps. If it does, just like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.